Well, you know, we, uh, we've had some bad ones. It's, you know, and uh, it's the same thing. You know, I think they were shooting 40% at the half. You know, second half, 67 points. They shoot 50%, 117 points. You just can't win like that. So. Are, you, are you concerned that your message is not getting through to these guys? I'm always concerned, yeah, yeah. Very concerned. What, what can you do about that? I just got to keep working at it. You know, I'm going to keep coming. So, you know, I don't go away. And, you know, I'm going to look at everything, re examine something's, something's being missed. So it's got to change. What was the feeling going into halftime? Well, we didn't close the half out well. And that was, I think that was a big problem. You know, and then, you know, you you start the third quarter, and you miss a couple shots, and then you don't get back, and it snowballs quick on you. And so, the big thing was, you know, like, and they put pressure on you. They're a good team, but then we we didn't take anything away from them. They they got layups, they got open threes, uh, you know, so it became a low energy game. And, you know, the, the one thing about that team plays really hard defensively. They're very good defensively. So you got to bring energy to your offense. And you have to do things to help your teammates get open. You have to screen. You have to move the ball. You have to cut. You have to sustain your spacing. That's what good teams do. And so, you know, the second half, we didn't do any of those things. And, and then when you couple that with, you know, uh, a subpar defensive performance in the second half. And, you know, I, I, I've got to re-examine, you know, if you're holding a team to 40% in the first half and then, you know, they end up at 50, so I don't even know what the numbers look like yet. And then I've got to re-examine there was breakdowns and controlling the ball, the ball was in the paint. You know, so we have, we have to take a look at that. You know, it's it's a great question. It's if you could do it in one half, you should be able to do it in the other. And so, something is, you know, not right, and we have to find the answer to that. I imagine that it was a four-point game with three minutes left in the third, and they kind of went. I think they went on a 20-3 run into the fourth quarter. Was that was that was that break out at both ends in your mind, or was it primarily a defense? Well, I think one thing leads to the other. It's if you're turning the ball over or you're missing a shot and you don't have floor balance going back and your basket's unprotected, you're giving them easy scoring opportunities. And then it doesn't take much because of the, the way they're spreading you out with their shooting, the, playing four perimeter players usually with a big. So if one guy's jogging back, it's it's going to be an open three. And so, and then our hand activity, you know, there's there's a ton of pick and rolls. So if you're not active with your hands on the, on the flight of the ball, you're going to be slow in your recovery, and those are open shots. And so open shots get you beat. So, you know, we have to look at that. We have to look at containing the ball. We have to look at challenging shots. I mean, the whole gamut. We didn't play much defense, that's for sure.